Hello, XOMAN Legacy here, and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to use my cheat engine table for Fable Anniversary. Now, before I do that, I would like to shout out and have you guys head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash XOMAN Legacy. I just recently became affiliate, and the reason I'm starting to Twitch over, stream over there, not Twitch over there, okay, is because uh, I'd, I'd rather not fill my YouTube channel up with a bunch of garbage that most of you guys aren't watching. So if you guys do want to follow, if I'm playing something you want to watch, feel free to watch. Otherwise, I'll continue with the video. Also, thank you to my members. Notably, we have Ashton Washburn. He's been around the longest of everybody. And then we have Everett on the side here. He's recently just subscribed to me on Twitch as my first founder. Now, let's get to the video. First things first, um, I'd pick up a new version of Cheat Engine if I were you. Uh, if you already have one installed, good. It should work just fine. And then you should also pick up a new version or the newest version of my cheat table, which this one's from two years ago, but it is still tested, tried, true, works, all the basic features just fine. So for starters, we're going to download this, hit code, hit download zip. If you don't know where to find this, this will be in the link below. Otherwise, go to github.com slash x one and one man legacy. And for Cheat Engine, you can just go to cheatengine.org. And then there it is. Let's minimize both of these. Now that we have this stuff open, we can start up our Cheat Engine. So when you have Cheat Engine open, which to open it, you can just open up the trainer. Go like this, double click it. And it should just ask you to say yes or no. And then there we go. Cheat Engine is now open. Now, I have Cheat Engine in this weird orientation for the tutorial. But when you open up Cheat Engine, you can go up here and hit Edit and then Settings. And then you should get this window to pop up down here for automatically attach the process named. And then it'll be blank. You're going to want to type in Fable space anniversary dot exe. And then it should work. If you have a weird pirated version that does not have this exe and has a different exe like Anniversary 64 or some weird shit like that, you should probably buy an official copy of the game. Because I don't think this will work for you if you have a pirated version anyway. So with that being said, you just press OK to accept this. If you do not know how to do that or don't want to do that, when you open up Fable Anniversary, what I just told you to do will make it so that at the top here, instead of no process selected, it will automatically open up as Fable Anniversary, like that, so you wouldn't have to open it yourself. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can go over here and press this computer button here and then just select Fable Anniversary as the process and hit open. So you guys should see the game and you should also see the cheat engine table. So the cheat engine table is probably taking up most of my screen at the moment, but that should be fine. Now we got the game open. We're going to want to, if you have a save already, I highly suggest if you're going to be using the table that you use chicken difficulty, not heroic. I'm going to load up a heroic game save just to show that it works in it in some cases, but for best result, you should use chicken difficulty. So we're going to load into a heroic save. Once we get into said heroic save, it seems that I have modded this one to go to uh, go into here. So, okay, this is what we got. If you look over here. Here's the cheat engine table. Let me open it up. As you can see, everything is populated from hats all populated you can even go in here and change them the different hats but these are the ones in all 10 of the original slots chests are all populated gloves are populated pants are populated and boots are populated also have weapon slots for bows the first 12 slots should be populated this character doesn't own an 11th and 12th that's why it says na and uh if i go to melee weapons all of them should be populated can all change them just fine and then my health is also populated this is different so if you want to be able to set your health you can double click and change it around as you can see it's working up at the top because my health just changed and let's check my mana my mana also just changed working just fine for me 
And this, as I said, is on a two year old version of my mod. Uh, and uh, this game is up to date. Now we can go into experience. All of this should be working. Um, let's set this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why not? I just added that much to it. Uh, let's go two, four, six, eight, eight, ten. We just added some of that. Let's add this to one, two, four, five, six, one, two, nine, whatever. I don't know. And let's change this one to blah, blah, blah. There we go. Now, if I go back into here, hit F, go over to stats, you should be able to see that. Uh, let me actually go like this quick. Let me get rid of this one for a second. As you can see, the numbers that I had created before are the numbers that pop up at the moment. So we can move this over here for right now. As you can see, these match these perfectly. And I just pushed in random numbers for you guys. So let us get back into it. Okay, so what do we got here? We just messed with the experience. Now we also have age. My character is 18 according to this. So let's go back over here and have this scroll down until it says my age of my hero. Age my hero is 18. You can go in here if you want and set yourself to 500 years old or something. And all you gotta do is just back out and go into the stats and uh, scroll down. My hair just turned like as white as it goes. Let's switch over here. Scroll down. I'm 500 years old now. I'm a 500 year old legendary witch hunter called Paladin. Easy peasy. But as you can see, this stuff mostly works. I mean, if you go into here, the gold works. At the bottom, you can see 9152195. Let's change this to 50,000 gold. It won't show up here, but if I go out here, it's 50,000 gold. Now, let's change this one more time to... There's 100 million gold, which is more than you're actually allowed to have. I didn't need to give that but it should just automatically drop down. Uh, potions. This potion section doesn't work. You can just delete that. At least on this revision, it didn't work. Uh, experimental, just delete it. Stats, that worked just fine. This not working section, usually your own risk, probably doesn't work. But as you can see, everything here works. Even in a game mode that I said wouldn't work. Mileage may vary in Heroic, but everything should work just fine in Vanilla, or in uh, Chicken, as they call it. Now, let's say you wanted to use a melee weapon. Um, currently, you can go in and there are two sort of Aeons. So here's the top one and the bottom one. There is no real difference between both of these sort of Aeons. I don't know why there's two of them. I believe one of them is a placeholder. I only left them both in because I don't know which one's which. Because testing is uh, a bitch sometimes. But here is two sort of Aeons. It does not say any augmentation on either of them. We're going to start out by putting on the top one and going in. It says there's no augments. As you can see, it's actually glowing. So there is some augments. We can go back in, check it out. Go to weapons right here give me one second let me move this like right here or something there you go as you can see the augments are back so they work and it didn't work now let's try the second one people say this crashes the game as you can see it obviously does crash the game, so I can probably remove that second option, which isn't too hard for me to do. I have done that on my newer revisions, but this is an old revision that I have not updated recently. But other than that, everything works, everything populates. The only reason I would say things would not populate for you is if you have a, a heavily modded version of the game, which I have not come across a heavy enough modded version of the game to actually do it. If you have a pirated version of the game that's using an outdated version of Fable Anniversary, 
which is really hard to come by because the game hasn't been updated in years to begin with or if you're just not attaching it properly I, if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments of this video and not scattered across the rest of my channel for me to try to see i do see your comments i do read them i may not always reply to them sometimes it's because i was busy when i read them and then i didn't get back to reading them or replying to them and sometimes it's because i get the question a lot and i am still working on a response or still working on a fix for it but without further ado i'm just gonna say adios and i'll see you guys in the next one peace